Hello, thank you for being with me for this new video. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That's how to say to me notification bell, sorry. Well, you get it. Today, we are going to see how to make a four by four cake. We are back to the basis and I'm showing you in this playlist how to make a cake from scratch that is well for the cake design. That means that this is a cake that can stay out of the fridge to be decorated, uh, like that stays moist, that has taste, and that is again good for so good for cake design. So it's an easy recipe. It's called four by four because the main ingredients, which are four, have the same weight. So we're going to weigh the eggs, and then the same weight we're going to take for the flour for the sugar and for the butter. Yes, it is quite a rich cake. And that is why it's not one of my favorites. That's, I, I think I will make a video with my favorites of everything, favorite creams, favorite cakes and all that. This is not one of my favorite. I have made a lot of this cake before, but as a um, something to eat just like that, not just for cake design, because again, it's just an easy recipe. So let's get started with the ingredients. Those eggs are quite small. So what I'm going to do is instead of taking four eggs, I'm taking five. So I turn my scale on and I'm with them. So I have 270 grams if I don't touch it. So this is going to be the weight of me out of my other ingredients. Now I take 270 grams of sugar. All right, oh, I have too much and I wanted to put a bit less actually. So I'm at 70. However, I'm taking a bit. So you see here, I have seven grams, seven and a half grams of vanilla sugar that I'm adding to it. So there I have 71, and that's okay. Same with the flour. All right. And now the butter that we're gonna melt and let cool down. We do not want it to be hot. And in my One thing I like to do before I forget every time is add the baking powder to the flour because believe me I do tend to forget and I have forgotten a couple of times. Did you see I melted the butter so now it's cooling down so we are going to break the eggs. We add the sugar Now we add the flour. And then it goes in the mold. This goes in the oven for 30 minutes at 180 degrees. So here is the cake. I just got it out of its you know, small. You can see the little things. Why? Because I don't. Um, I didn't use the uh, non-stick spray. I used, uh, as you saw, oil and uh, flour and uh, not enough obviously and what I'm gonna do is buy some more because I cannot do my cakes without that anymore I run out and I need to get to the store to get one for those it's actually easy because any brand is really good there are other things that need to be a specific brand like fondant for instance you cannot just take any fondant 
but for these, the non-stick non spray, then you can take any, they are life-saving. Because look, this I can get it back. Like, there's nothing wrong with the cake. Like, I can cover that with ganache or buttercream. It's just a tiny bit more work. Instead, if my cake is all smooth and all nice, then it's time-saving. And we all know that cake decorating can be really time-consuming. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon for a new video.